There was an update and a new DLC released in GT Online a couple of weeks ago. And spoiler alert, it ain't good. However, because we are so close to the GTA 6 release, it looks like Rockstar are getting a bit lazy with the GT Online development. Instead of making stuff just for GT Online, what it looks like they're actually doing is taking the stuff they've made for GTA 6 and backporting it into GTA Online. And in this video, we're actually gonna look at a couple of examples of some of the vehicles that they've actually used in GTA 6 because we saw them in the trailers and how there's almost the exact same car in this GTA Online update. So honestly, if you wanna play some GTA 6 stuff early, I guess load up GTA Online and buy some of the new vehicles. I mean, they're all like $3 million for a little crappy minivan, but I guess if you don't wanna wait, there you go. So let's go ahead and check out some of these vehicles. Now, first off, like what? Just look at this, by the way. This isn't, I don't think a GTA, I would hope not. This is, what is this quality? That is like 100p texture resolution on the car door there. And I'm not kidding, I believe this car is over a million dollars in GT Online. It's just sad the state that GT Online has become, that Rockstar has made GT Online become. Let's go ahead and look at the vehicles they released in this update. On this website, there's only two. There's the supercar and there's the, the $1.8 million SUV, because obviously everyone knows we need more SUVs in the game. This is one of the vehicles though that I do think is from GTA 6. We'll look at that one more in depth. They did also add a couple of cop cars and there's a couple of cop cars that are in the drip feed. One that is very, very similar, if not the exact same vehicle as one of the cop cars we saw in the GTA 6 trailer. And then we get to this website where we have six vehicles that just look terrible. Like these vehicles, there's a $1.6 million minivan. These are the vehicles they're adding to GTA Online. Do they look like cars people would wanna buy? No, but do they look like cars that maybe you would find in traffic? Yes. So what it looks like is happening here is all of the traffic filler vehicles that are gonna be in GT6, Rockstar are backporting them into GT Online. Like this minivan, why does anyone want a minivan in GT Online? Especially one for $1.6 million. Clearly that is a car they built for GTA 6. And they're like, you know what? We'll just throw it in GTA Line because it's easy to do. And we'll actually start with that minivan. And the reason I say this is going to be a GT6 vehicle is because it is a pretty high quality build. It just looks pretty nice. Now, of course, the interior isn't the best. It is still high quality, though. Uh, I would imagine with all of these GTA 6 backported vehicles, the interior is going to change. Like there might be a couple of slight differences here and there, because as we've seen from the GTA 6 leaks, there's going to be a lot more vehicle customization in GTA 6. So I'm sure they're saving that. We're basically just looking at the shell of a vehicle from GTA 6. But yeah, look, it's a minivan. Again, like there's no, like, why is this in GTA Online, right? It just makes a lot more sense that this is a vehicle that you're going to see occasionally in GTA 6 in the traffic. You're not really going to want to steal this because it's a minivan. Why would you want a minivan? It's not very practical. These like there's giant windows so the cops can just shoot you very easily. But it does have a nice build quality. It looks really good. Like it, it actually looks like a real life vehicle to an extent. I don't show it off here, but I believe the, the back doors at least they do slide. So it's it's nicely made. The engine is also a unique ish engine sound which could be taken from GTA 6. So overall, I think this is definitely one of the uh, the better candidates for backported vehicles from GTA 6. Here we have one of the most promising ones. I think this is called the Aleutian, the Vapid Aleutian, the new SUV, the, the $1.8 million SUV. There was a vehicle like this in the trailer, but it, it was very far off in the distance. It was very tiny. So I'm not even going to show it because it's only a handful of pixels, but there was... I believe this resembles like a Ford Explorer-esque type of vehicle. Again, much like that minivan, it is very high quality. The rims are very high quality. The headlights are actually 3D modeled, which might give it away. Uh, here's actually a comparison between just one of the OG ballers in the game. I, you know, probably back when the game first came out. You can just see the difference in quality here especially on those headlights. Are we really gonna assume that Rockstar are very specific and very detailed when it comes to a random SUV in GT Online? If they did this for like a supercar or a sports car, all right, maybe that's just for GT Online. But this is just a random SUV. Why is it this high quality? I think that's because 
it's backported from GTA 6. But then we actually move on to the police vehicles, and this is actually the one vehicle here. Now, this isn't in the game just yet. This is in the drip feed. This is the gauntlet interceptor so it's one of the other police vehicles again drip feed which kind of sucks this almost looks identical to the highway patrol vehicle we saw in the gt6 trailer here's a picture of that unfortunately we only get to see it from the top down but these are very similar cars there are some slight changes like in the gt online version you do have the police lights up top you can't actually remove those also there's a different livery on the back in the gta6 version but if you actually look at the hoods, the hoods are very, very similar, if not the exact same. So I think this actually might be one of the best vehicles that showcases how they're backporting vehicles from GTA 6 into GTA Online. And it is also another high quality vehicle. And I do wonder when it comes to these police vehicles, if some of these police add-ons are also additions from GTA 6. There's a lot of new things a lot of new customization for these police vehicles in this update and I, I do wonder if they took some of that from gta 6. the lights are also significantly better and we're actually going to look at that at this vehicle this is i believe the stanier in gta 6 you can see this is a similar build obviously it's green and white or in gta online or gta 5 it's just black and white i probably could change the colors but if we actually take a look at nighttime and compare the lights, the new police lights, compared to the old ones, it is a night and day difference. So that's another reason I think that maybe some of these police vehicles, they're backported from GTA 6, they're, they're taking some of the newer lighting and stuff they've worked on, and they're just bringing it into GTA Online. And like, when you just think about this sort of stuff from a development point of view, it is clear there's not many people working on GTA Online. The DLCs have been pretty lackluster lately over the last year or so. And that just that's okay because all the people are working on GTA 6, which is going to be one of the biggest games of all time. But clearly Rockstar and Take Two, they want to still make money with GTA Online. They're not going to just abandon it. So the best thing for them to do is instead of making and having two development teams work on two different things, well, work on something for GTA 6 and then take some of the lesser liked vehicles or lesser popular vehicles and just backport them into GTA Online. That's why we're not getting any more supercars or sports cars. I think in this entire update, there was only one supercar. There's not a single sports car in this update. It's because they're saving them all for GTA 6. They're just giving us all those traffic filler cars. And there was also a handful of other vehicles. Now, these aren't from this update. Obviously, we have the Comet Retro here. Uh, this was a vehicle you did get to see in the trailer for a split second. There's some slight differences like on the back of the vehicle, but again, you're going to see a lot of the same cars we actually already see in GTA 5 in GTA 6. We also actually can see the Zoruso here. This is the vehicle that Jason and Lucia were driving down the highway at night where Lucia is standing up in the vehicle. It looks almost 100% the same. There are some minor differences like the side view mirrors are a bit different. Of course, in GTA 5 here, there is no interior lighting like we got to see. I'm sure the interior is also a bit different. But I wanted to just mention this because you probably are going to see a lot of the same vehicles that they've added to GTA Line over the last few years in GTA 6. Of course, they'll be slightly updated, better customization, better interiors and stuff. But the models are going to be roughly the same. And if you're expecting like 500 new vehicles, I mean, that's just hard to do. I think there's like six, 700 vehicles in GTA Online right now. Like, of course, Rockstar are going to reuse some of them. So let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. What other vehicles, if you've noticed any, do you think are backports? I, maybe even some weapons. The, the new weapon in this update might be a backport from one of the weapons in GTA 6. But we really, of course, will not know until we either get more trailers or the game comes out. But it's definitely an interesting thought to have. We might be looking at GT6 vehicles in front of us all along. Thank you guys for watching. That's going to do it for today's GT6 video. Please drop the video a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more GT6 content. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one.